everybody, welcome to the Daily Market Commentary. I uh, hope everybody had a great day. This is for uh, October the 16th, 2017. Uh, we had a, uh, <clears throat> a fine Monday that it was. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through some of the same markets that we do every day. Remembering for those of you that are new to this channel and new to this video, we look at the same eight markets uh, every day. And I'm actually gonna add another one on here uh, shortly, just I don't have anything set up for today. But starting tomorrow, we'll add an additional market uh, based on the requests of others. So we've, uh, we look at the same eight markets every day. And the idea is that we keep our lines the same so that we can see these these positions evolve over time. And hopefully it'll help you to learn and, and to start to feel good about it. So uh, let's start with the S&P. Now the ES, uh, you know, I'm, I keep saying it and, and I feel like I'm a broken record. If I said it once, I've said it a hundred times. I'm still not willing to short this market. We're at an all time high, um, but we're also not getting a deep enough pullback for me to go long. Uh, I would be okay if somebody wanted to trade the breakout. If you wanted to get long uh, off of the new all time high, I, I don't think that would be much of a problem. Uh, if you uh, if you think that there's a chance to get long after that all time high gets a clip because really there's no sell orders above us to stop us from going higher. But I just haven't seen any compelling reason to try to to, to get into small time frames and time this thing on the S&P. The NASDAQ uh, gave us a slightly better entry possibility. It did break out today uh, to a new all-time high. Uh, so this one, you know, if you're playing the breakouts, has given you, a, uh, you know, a good shot and a retest on the breakout from this area here. Uh, you may get another one at this level here. Uh, but neither one of those were levels that I really took a look at. Oil, oil finally struck. Uh, for those of you that have, have been watching this uh, this this uh, daily market commentary for the past, oh, I don't know, three weeks, we had an alert set on oil. Uh, it, the alert was set probably right about here. That alert uh, triggered in the overnight hours. Price then rallied up into the level, which we've had marked for a while, and then dropped right out of that level into the target point. So uh, finally, this level uh, did pay uh, pay fruits. And so this is one of the reasons why we keep the lines on our charts uh, and we don't change them. Now, once that level's been hit, it's going to become a lower a lower probability opportunity. So I'm, I'm going to leave it on because we just did a, we, we just kind of uh, touched the level and moved away pretty quickly. But I change it from a solid line to a dashed line to show that there's a lot more weakness in that level. So hopefully if you were patient, if you had that thing set up, that one worked out uh, for you. Uh, anytime it's a dashed line, I'm not going to take it as soon as it touches. I'm going to wait for it to come into the level and then get short as to, as it comes out. And in here you, you might even be okay with a little two to one uh, reward to risk trade out of that. So that one came down, hit the target. I'm going to remove these lines altogether. Uh, because these ones are no longer going to be valid. There is a little level uh, right in here for anyone who's interested. Uh, uh, you know, it's 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 not a great level um, uh, just based upon when it was created, but it is uh, indeed a level that uh, that can be used for a long if somebody's looking at a at a place to get back in. I like it because it was, uh, you know, call it resistance in through here, and this has really been an area. This 5150 has been an area that's kind of been a price magnet. So keep that area in mind for the next day. Gold as well. Uh, we see that gold touched the level and then smoked uh, down off of uh, off of that. Uh, that zone, so price did meet the entry, came down off of the level. This would be definitely one where you'd wanna have your stop move down at least to break even, maybe even down into this range here, uh, because gold is definitely uh, making the move. I think there's a chance we can get all the way down to this 87 as a target. So uh, gold and oil, this is one where patience is the key. And hopefully uh, you were able to let patience pay off uh, in, uh, in, in what you were looking at. Looking at uh, our bond markets. Let me open this up, our bond markets. So in our bond markets, we had the level that just did not quite get filled. It almost did. Um, you know, it hit our, hit our mark and then price came down uh, from there, did not quite get us into the into that trade level still uh, level still stands level still holds we got to look a little bit lower to see if there's a, another good opportunity and there's really nothing down here i'm in love with for a reversal so i'm going to remove this line here 
I, this area, we may get a little bounce off of this area here, uh, you know, because we had that strong rally out of there. We might get a little bounce off here. We've gotten very minimal move from this point. I'm not going to put anything else on this chart. I think this one is what, kind of what it is. Uh, the Aussie, uh, we, we were looking at this as a chance to get long on the breakout. That has certainly uh, barren, bore its fruit. Uh, did anticipate this possibly being a price target. Has not quite gotten to there yet. Is still a valid level, although there's going to be, especially for smaller time frame trading, uh, for those of you that are looking uh, in the overnight hours for an opportunity, you might get a rally uh, back up into here. Let me move that down. Let's call it a 15 minute time period. Uh, you might get a rally um, back up into up here. This is where I was looking earlier. right in here so keep that as an area for a small time frame uh, opportunity if you're looking at a small time frame trade coming off of here you know look for a two to one a three to one out of here you're not going to get a gigantic move uh, but it is still a, it may give you a good play back in on the euro um, you know we got nicked by a tick right here didn't quite get filled but i left the level on the chart and we almost came back into it on Friday, we're unable to. That level still uh, we're at what I'm looking at. And then the Canadian dollar. Uh, I'm gonna the Canadian dollar. We got another breakdown uh, here in the overnight hours. Canadians really been working on breakouts. A little bit of basing, strong breakout. A little bit of basing, strong breakouts. Uh, I've got to remove pretty much most of these drawings. Um, on the Canadian, there's really nothing on the Canadian at the moment uh, that's uh, that's giving me reason to uh, to keep most of these uh, levels on the chart. So I'm going to remove uh, pretty much, well, frankly, all of these because there's really nothing on here uh, that's exciting me and kind of getting me interested. So uh, the one that I'm going to start taking a look at and I'm going to add, I'd like to add four. If I'm going to add, if I'm going to add one, I'd like to add four so I can just keep this concept of four. But uh, looking at the uh, at the the Great British Pound, um, I would probably take a look at this area here in the Great British Pound as a potential uh, level. This whole area all through here uh, as a potential level this is an old line from a prior chart let me remove that one completely so I, I would I'd look at a, at a potential short right up in here looking at this on a daily so going to a slightly bigger time period uh, what we can see is that would actually be about a 50% retracement of this move. Uh, so that would be a good 50% retracement of this move that would bring us back into that range where I think you could see a little bit of a reversal, a nice daily reversal candlestick pattern in there. And I think your eventual um, you know, price target would be down here at 29.66. So uh, hopefully that uh, those are a couple of different just ideas and opportunities you can take a look at. Uh, the big ones were oil and uh, gold. And so let me know in the comments if you were able to catch up on any of those. If you like this video, do me a favor, share it with friends. Uh, give me a like, give me a tweet, give me whatever it is you want to out of there in the, out there in the world. And I would greatly appreciate it. Until tomorrow, talk to you all soon and have a great day.